All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah Kwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles from the great millstone who taught us this truth. Peace and salutations to the brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that's doing this work like Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai commanded us to do. This is the brother Milkama in uh, today's video. You see uh, on your screen is uh, probably entitled as Sleeper Cell. And so this is a, a map here but i don't believe this is the uh sleeper cell map uh that i can remember but it's a video inside of this video is in this video here is from uh the channel steve ram and uh he has pretty good content you know and uh very in informative as far as what's going on with this uh this war and the rumor rumor of wars okay see that the end is not yet because it's a major prophecy that has to happen before uh this world war three has to uh take place which is uh revelation 13 and 16 and we all know what that entitles that what that that the actual happening of revelation 13 and 16 is uh you know, the implementation of the karagma or the microchip. Okay, so <clears throat> in your hand or your forehead. Okay, so uh, let's look up, yeah, sleeper cell. Sleeper cell. It says a secretive group or spies or terrorist agent that remain inactive with a target population until order to act. Okay, so... That's pretty much what we've been hearing. Uh, they got sleeper cells throughout the United States to uh, reap hab hab habit, uh, if I'm pronouncing that correct, you know, throughout the uh, population of the United States. Uh, it's going to be all simultaneously. You know, uh, when they, the word is given and it's supposed to act at all at once. So... But, you know, we already know that the United States know what's going on. Uh, <clears throat> uh, the behind the scenes people, uh, you know, the, the central bankers, which, you know, give the order. You know, they want uh, the chaos to kick off. Okay. So once chaos kicks off, then, you know, you're going to have uh, them trying to bring in order. So... With that being said, uh, let's let this video play. I'm starting from the beginning. Lord willing, is that a fine to the Additional floor. confirmation coming out in the past 24 hours from the former FBI director, confirming what we've heard from the FBI. Multiple foreign terrorist organizations have called for attacks against Americans and the West. And from Congress. Our country is really at an increased threat for a terrorist attack. That they believe that over the past couple years that terrorist groups have already made their way into the United States and that in cities around the nation and I and you know uh the apostles have been talking about this since <laughs> Lord knows when because I've been hearing about this but you know well when I come into the truth which had been long I think about five uh six years okay and uh so uh, it, this is prophecy that this is going to happen so uh it was another let's let's see let's fast forward to this uh the video that i was talked about at the beginning right here with this woman here spoke on the the actual cities that's uh supposed to have the sleep, sleeper cells in it so. You know, they're in it for the long haul. Yeah. And you can't, I guess the point being, Neil, you can't trust them. No matter what they say, you cannot trust them. To all of you who are wondering why we should care about Hamas and what's happening in the Middle East, you should care because Hamas has a large network of cells spreading all across America. According to intelligence, they have cells in Boston, Maryland, New York, Laurel, Maryland, Potomac, Maryland, Washington, D.C., Hennerden, Virginia, Springfield, Virginia, Raleigh, North Carolina, Boca Raton and Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Philadelphia, Cleveland, Ohio, Charlotte, North Carolina, 
Orlando and Tampa, Florida, Detroit, Michigan, Houston, Columbia, Missouri, Plainfield, Illinois, Kansas City, Chicago, Denver, Oklahoma City, Arlington, Texas, and Dallas, Texas, Tucson, Arizona, Seattle, Washington, San Francisco, Santa Clara, Los Angeles, and San Diego in California. Wake up, America. That's why we need to stand with Israel. Now let's take a look at the sleeper cells and the information we have on them. Unit 910 ESO, or the Hezbollah's External Security Organization. Hezbollah's elite and strictly compartmented unit functions as a far-reaching strategic arm. Now, uh, you know, if they know about these different uh, sleeper cells all over the United States, uh, you know, uh, letting you know they have some, some type of uh, inside intelligence, which... You know, they've been going back and forth talking about how many, you know, who has the, you know, most uh, uh, missiles that is capable of, you know, destruction. And um, from what I hear, you know, uh, uh, it's Russia, <laughs> you know, and this guy had something else in another video. But let's let's get this video, uh, this, this scripture. Uh, I just had this scripture not too long ago i don't know why i don't know exactly where it is. So, which let's see let's see there we go jeremiah 51 and 14 all right the water you have about shimmy and the shah it says the lord yahweh of hosts has sworn by himself saying surely i will fill thee with men as with caterpillars, and they shall lift up a shout against thee. You know, and there's this these caterpillars are going to eat Americas from the inside. You know, which the, that's what the sleeper cells are all about. Okay, so let's go to this uh, next video. Uh, that was, now that was watching the uh, the apostles. Well, I didn't get to watch the whole thing out caught it on the end as I was getting getting off from the uh plantation so you know I, I got that on my save list okay so that's now this one here is the, you see this is the breaking news uh it says U.S. nuclear bomb prepared now for World War Three. okay uh now matter of fact you know what let's just get that scripture to uh the one in Revelation, uh, I believe it's 12. Uh, wars and rumors of wars. Well, there we go. That's Matthew 24 and verse 6. It says, And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Okay? Now we know. The ultimate war, the the war Armageddon, which is World War Three, you know, before that takes place, or pretty much in the midst of it, you know, they they're gonna, well, before it actually takes place, should I say that, it, you know, the Karagma has to be, you know, uh, mandated, okay, has to be put out there, okay, so something in between there is gonna, uh, you know, allow these devils to uh you know implement it or to you know put it out there so let's uh scoot down to i think <clears throat> was it 25 i can't remember what i heard but let's go back to it i knew it was had to be a point in here i want to get so let's see what it is See, so you, now if that's out there, so you're going to see uh, uh, a lot of strange things out there. Now, he's saying that these sleeper cells are supposed to uh, attack these different religions, you know, the Jewish and the uh, 
what is it? You said you said Baptists or or Christian groups. So, you know, it could be like that uh that one uh movie. What was it? The Purge. When them guys went in the church, I believe that was Purge. You know, and they was uh uh murdering people in the church. Okay. And that's just like that one, you know, what's that dude named Dylan? Uh, the one guy who killed like seven uh, 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 Baptist uh, Christians, you know, and, and and they invited him in there. And he, he just went berserk and started shooting and killing them. Old people, old Jakes, old so-called blacks, Hispanics. Well, not Hispanics. It was a Negro, so-called Negro church, okay? Uh, uh, letting the devil in, you know, thinking that Jesus can save everybody. He gonna bless you, son. Come on in here, you know. And he just, you know, went berserk, you know. He, hey, you know, the spirit of the uh, Lord, hey, put that spirit on him to, you know, call them souls back, right? Or uh, the Lord is uh creates uh good and evil, you know. But. <clears throat> now this could be a, an attack on well which it's gonna be an attack on everything and everybody you know including uh you know us you know we out with the scriptures and people get it confused a lot of times they think oh man he's a christian and you know he got the bible but hey the understanding of the bible that we know is is not the way the christian church preaches all right and it was Let's see. What's it? That's another one. I, I think it was. Was it twenty? I read it. The twenty-five it was. It was. I think it was one. That was in fifteen. I think I got the one for twenty-five. Let's see. You know, I, uh, for me, hey, I hadn't heard anything about Hamas, but you know, uh, this guy here said he heard that Hamas is in an underground tunnel or something to the extent. Uh, but that's. Yeah, you know, so, but, you know, these devils going to do what they going to do. So, you know, I just wanted to bring that update to you. So we're going to go ahead and end it and give our praise and honor to you. How about Shimei Abishai, how about Shimei Kodash, and shout out to the next time.